Hi guys, who does not love a cheeseburger? So I want to show you how to make my absolute favorite cheeseburger and this is one that I make all the time. It's perfect for barbecues. It's great if you want a bit of a dirty dinner and this is how you make it. We're going to start it off with the extras and what I mean by extras is those little extra bits that just make it delicious. So I have some red onion that are finely sliced into little rounds and I'm kind of going to pickle these with some lemon juice. So just grab up a lemon, split it down the middle, squeeze that lemon juice into a little plastic bag like this, seal that up, give it a little squidge around. I'm gonna leave them to pickle away with all that lovely lemon juice and now we need to talk about mayo. I've just got some regular old mayo, we're gonna add some hot sauce to it. So a little touch, about a teaspoon of hot sauce going in here. Spoon in and just give it a quick mix up. We've got that sorted, we've got the pickled onion, we've got the beef and it's all about the beef when you are making these burgers. Into our mince, we're going in there with some garlic. So I have a little bit of chopped garlic going in. Also a few tablespoons of tomato ketchup. We also have a touch of Worcestershire sauce. I still can't say it. I think I've just gotten to the point where I'm going to refuse to say it. So <laughs> it's just one of those words I can't say. Anyway, tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Then I'm gonna add in a few sprigs of thyme. Also, a little pinch of sea salt and some black pepper. It's really important to season your burgers at this point. And once you have all your ingredients in there, it's time to get your hands involved and get mixing. Okay, this is coming together really nicely and I'm just gonna divide it. I have three burger buns toasted, so I kinda want them to be the same size as the burger buns, so just break them out into little portions. Just use the palm of your hand and keep squeezing until you have a nice, firm little burger patty. Place them aside on a plate, and if you have the time, stick them in the fridge to firm up, but you can actually fry these straight away. And now, we're gonna fry these off. I do need to give my hands a quick wash, though. Right, I have the heat on a nice frying pan. You want something with a heavy bottom. Who doesn't love a heavy bottom? I'm gonna go in there with a little bit of olive oil, or you could use sunflower oil or rapeseed oil. It is totally up to you. But do give a generous amount just so that it doesn't stick. There's also a lot of fat in the burgers, so it's gonna render out when you cook these up. Also, at this point, I like to just season the burgers themselves. I know there's salt and pepper in there already, but that little touch over the top is that lovely crust you'll get. And when you bite into these burgers, they're gonna be real tasty. Okay, loads of pepper going on in there and now we have a smoking hot pan and it's really important you start with a smoking hot pan because otherwise it'll just lower the heat as soon as you add those burgers. So get them straight in there, salt and pepper side down. So now we're gonna cook these for about three to four minutes either side. For even more salty flavor, I'm going in there with some pancetta. So just drape these in and around the burgers and they're gonna fry off in all that lovely burger action. Now, while they're cooking off and while my burgers are frying off, we also need to talk about the cheese in this cheeseburger. I'm using Gruyere cheese. It's a French cheese. It has a nutty, sort of earthy texture, but it's lovely and sweet as well. It melts perfectly. So whatever cheese you use, just make sure the cheese you use melts. Have you got that? I think I have too. Brilliant. So a few slices of Gruyere cheese going over the top here as well. Okay, pancetta is looking good. Let's give them a quick turn, and as soon as they have a nice bit of color, we're gonna take them out. Okay, the burgers have got a very nice color. Slightly charred, but stick with me, it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna turn down the heat to medium. We're now gonna layer this Gruyere over the top of these burgers. Grab a bit of water and a lid. We're gonna throw that water in there, stick on the lid really quickly, and the steam that erupts from all that water in there is gonna give you the most moist and beautiful cheeseburgers you will ever taste. It also helps for that cheese to melt down. So give it a minute, let it cook through, and then they're ready to go. Look at that melted cheese, steamy action. You get all that wonderful juiciness. This is gonna be delicious. So get rid of the lid. We need to get these burgers served up. And before we do, turn off the heat, leave them aside for a moment. I'm gonna grab up these toasted buns and we're gonna assemble. So hot sauce mayo, to the base, please. Spread it over and evenly across. I'm going for a little bit of ketchup on the top. You don't have to do this, but I think you cannot have a burger without a bit of ketchup. That is just personal opinion, but I'm sure you can let me know in the comments if you can have a burger without a ketchup. I just don't think you can, but that's fine. That's up to you. We've got our onion pickle ready to go. We've got our pancetta over here, and now it's time to get our lovely cheeseburgers out of that pan. And look at that when you lift off you get this pull of cheese that is so good. Plop it on top of that mayo action, 
and I love how the cheese has melted into the burger. Come and have a look at this wonderful cheesy action. Beautiful stringy cheese, beautiful tender burger. Pancetta, straight on the top. I'm gonna grab up some of these little onion pickles to just drape them on top. They're gonna add a lovely acidic bite. Fit any more in here, but I'm gonna go for a little bit of rocket just on top. It looks so good. I almost don't want to eat it, but there is no chance of that happening right now. So I'm gonna grab that little layer on top. And this is where you just gotta get squeezing. It's gonna be messy, it's gonna be dirty. I can see you already going, this is gonna end in tears, but look at that, this is so good. Okay, here we go. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Oh my god. <laughs> You know what, that is, I'm gonna have to clean down my mouth. That is dirty eating. It's slopping all over the board, but the flavor. Mm. You've got this rich meanness. You've got the salty pancetta. You've got that wonderful sweet acidity from the mayonnaise and the ketchup and the hot sauce going on in there. And that cheese has melted so, so beautifully. If you want the recipe for this dirty, dirty burger, please, that is now down my arm, please go and check it out in the box below. The full recipe is over on my website. Make sure to leave me a comment letting me know your favorite burger recipe to make. And of course, subscribe to this channel for lots more delicious recipes. I'm over on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Snapchat. So check me out over there. And until then, I will see you soon. Goodbye. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce.